whatever I can to survive. For small business owner Stephen Call, that's meant recently refinancing the mortgage on his Rushville home that was nearly paid off. I was 10 years from having my place paid off, and now I had to go back to 30 years. All of it to try and save the family business value vending Call has owned for 34 years. We started this from scratch. We, uh, you know, it was a, a labor of love on our end. Now the hard work involves trying to get approved for loans the government promised small business owners in the wake of the COVID-19 crisis. I've got bills to pay. I've got things I'm trying to do. I just didn't have enough savings set back, you know, to, to handle something this big. Call says business is down 70 percent. Many of his vending machines inside places that are closed down because of the coronavirus. And what money's inside those machines that could help call, he can't even get to. I've even told him I'll, I'll put a whole hazmat suit on if that's what you want me to do. Getting help through the Small Business Administration hasn't been any easier. First, there was the $10,000 grant through the SBA, the money promised to be available in days. And we found out approximately a week after that, that that whole program had kind of changed. What they thought was a $10,000 grant now might be $1,000. Cole has also applied for disaster loan relief and the Paycheck Protection Plan loan. He's even filed for unemployment, something small business owners were never allowed to do before. We're just looking for whatever's out there. So, you know, unemployment, disaster loan, PPE, they can come up with six different other letters to call it. I'll, uh, I'll apply for it, but uh, right now everything's just kind of in flux. Cole's not alone in his frustration. The National Federation of Independent Business surveyed small business owners here in Indiana, and what they found wasn't promising. 80% uh, of, of our members have received nothing. Indiana State Director hopes the money in this latest financial package, now approved by the Senate, will get to the small business owners who need it. We've got to fix this, and we need to fix it now, or Main Street is, is never going to look the same. But Stephen Call says he's not leaving. It'd be very easy just to give up and shut it down and walk, around, walk away, and I'm not going to do it. When Call goes to sleep tonight, though, the question still remains, how? Emily, thank you so much. Now, that new relief bill offering more funding to the payment protection program, it goes up for a House vote on Thursday. The president is expected to sign it once it reaches his desk. We'll keep you updated on that story.